Hey guys, and welcome to today's YouTube Idiots video. In today's video, we have a rookie First Amendment fraud editor who gets arrested on his very first fraud hit. So let's begin. All right guys, so here we are in Gresham, Oregon, the local post office here to do my very first First Amendment audit. Your first fraud it. The retard elders would be very proud of you. Looks like it's pretty busy. So again, it is in the middle of the afternoon on a Monday. What better time to bother and harass post office employees and customers than when the post office is at its busiest. This says monitor by video, but I do not see any cameras on the outside of the building. Nice little Corvette. All right. Once again, like we saw in the others. Okay, it's over there. Authorized vehicles only. Nothing about no trespassing, no per authorized personnel. So let's go back here and see what we can see. Hmm. Venturing into a restricted parking lot that was clearly posted and fenced off sounds like a future criminal trespass warning to me. Old man, look at that dude. No, thank you. I'm sorry, what was that? Is it? Yeah. Under what code? Uh, you're also on private property. Well, why can't I film it though? Why are you filming it? Why can't I? Is it? Have you read your poster seven? I'm gonna go get the supervisors. Postmaster? He's not here today. Okay, supervisor works. Karens wouldn't be Karening if they didn't ask for a supervisor. And just like before, I'm gonna ding him every time he mentions poster seven because nowhere on poster seven does it give these poster tards the right to walk around the post office as if they own it. What was your name? <sighs> begins stay tuned folks not allowed to record it and it's so supervisor 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 and that senior carrier interesting oh here we go How's it going? No, uh, what was your name? What's your name? I'm sorry, what was your name? You're coming to talk you. to me. Okay, you're on private property. Private property. You need to, yeah, Isn't this a post office? But you're in a restricted area. Where does it say that? On the fucking signs that you were literally just reading out loud, you illiterate cave dweller. What do those signs say? You need to leave, please. What do those signs say? You need to leave, please. I'm just asking what those signs say. Go ahead and call, please. What? Thank you. Oh. Okay. So what do those signs say, though? It, you know what? You what was your to, name? You need to step off the property. What was your place. name? You need to if step you're giving off me a directive, you need to tell me who you are. I don't, I don't know who to. you are. Well, I don't know, I don't who, know you are. who you are. Exactly. So how can you give me a directive? So you need to step off the property. I don't think so. This is government property. And this government is property is public property. This is a restricted area. Is it? What signs? The front out there is not What? Is where? Not what do the signs say? It says authorized vehicles only. Not random dick holes with cameras. I didn't see any restricted area signs. Okay, you need to leave. Am I wrong? You Is there restricted area signs? Go look. I already did look before I came in here. I made sure. Okay. So you what did the signs say? What did the signs say? Sir. 
What did the sign I'm not say? arguing with you. Then have a good day. Yeah, you too. You need to leave. I'm not leaving. We'll see how well that ages when the cops get there. Because when they do get there, I guarantee that he'll either be leaving on his own two feet or with a new pair of shiny bracelets and an armed escort. What the police say? When's your postmaster gonna be here? I'd like to speak to the postmaster, please. Have you read your poster seven? All right, boys. Cops will be here soon. Did you read your uh, poster seven? No comment? All right guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside now. See what happens. I've been watching you frauditors for a few months now. So let me guess what's going to happen. You're going to go inside and look for poster 7, find it, and subsequently ignore the parts that say that you can't do what you're doing, not leave after being asked to do so, wait for the cops to come, argue with them with your infinite wisdom of YouTube law, and finally, get your dumbass arrested for failing to leave when ordered to do so, all while racking up an impressive amount of dingers in the process. I'm sorry, what was that? Yes. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. That's not correct. Yes. She's already dealt with it. Have you read your poster seven? Poster seven, reg and rules, re rules and regulations of the post office says I can film anywhere. No, it doesn't. It says that you can film in certain areas of the post office with permission. You don't have permission. Therefore, they can ask you to leave if you refuse to shut off your cameras. So you, can you have no expectation of privacy in public. You're an uh, for standing up for my First Amendment, right? You aren't standing up for your First Amendment anything. You're a jackass with a camera, and just like the guy said, an asshole. So try putting down that camera and really fighting for the preservation of your rights by maybe joining the military or actually serving your community and drop this YouTube act that you're doing. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Once again, have you read your poster seven? I can show you out there. It says I'm allowed to. I've already talked to the supervisor. Why do you need to do that? What are you doing? I'm filming. Because? For personal reasons. You can tell this guy's new. Not that it would make any difference, but frauditors are supposed to say that they're filming for some kind of documentary on how to be a dipshit, or they're part of some News Now retard club. Because if you don't say that, then only the last part of that subsection on poster 7 applies. And that part reads, Other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the postmaster or installation head. Since you don't have the express permission of the postmaster or installation head, you aren't allowed to film there. And the police are here. You're in a restricted area. You need some identification from you. Uh, I'm sorry. What? You're in a restricted area. You were. In How the, is this? You were in the back of the post office. What does that? What does the post office say? What does it say? Sign say back there. It doesn't say restricted access. It does. It says authorized vehicles only. It doesn't mean For you. Vehicles. Need, it doesn't mean you just wander through there. So I'm gonna need yes, some it does. It doesn't say unauthorized personnel. Yeah. 
because it says authorized vehicles only. And you, my little Neanderthal, are not an authorized vehicle. So you do not have permission to be in an area restricted to authorized vehicles. I need some identification. I'm not gonna ID. You. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm you the have. public. Can I get your supervisor, please? What's your name and badge number? It's right here. Right here? Is that what you tell the judge? Right here? Yep. Yeah, right here? Get a supervisor, please. Please, supervisor. 31, can we get a sergeant down here? Can you know, ID, please? No. Why? Because I haven't done anything wrong. I have not committed a crime. Then why, then why, why wouldn't you identify yourself? Because I don't have to. You do? No, I do. Because when people are asking you to have a reasonable, property, alter, are reasonable articulate suspicion of a crime, area, what crime did I commit? When Trespassing, you idiot. When the lady asked you to leave the restricted parking lot and you refused, she had the right to call the police and have you criminally trespassed. People are asking you to leave an area that... In a when, public when you, facility. When you, when you don't. In a public facility. Public facility. It makes a trespass. Well, for a crime. For what crime? Trespassing, yes. Okay, for what crime? I just told you. Trespassing, trespassing is not a crime in a public facility. I have to commit a crime in order to get trespassed. No, Karen, you don't. If you go into a business and make a scene, then they can have you trespass without you committing an actual crime. But in this situation, you were asked to leave the restricted area and you refused. At that point, they had enough to issue you a trespass warning. And if you violate that warning by continuing to refuse to leave, then they can have you arrested for criminal trespass. You committed a crime. What was the crime? They never, they didn't, uh, they can't make me leave for not doing they, anything yes, wrong. What did I do wrong? This is not your property. It's public property. It's, it's everybody's property. It's post office property. Right, Congress which is public property. It's not a governmental agency. Oh, it's not? It's not. Oh, okay. Then why does the Homeland, Department of Homeland Security deal with this? You don't even have authority here. Wrong again, Karen. He does have authority there. But to be fair, the United States Postal Service is a part of the government, even though it's an independent agency like NASA or the CIA. The cop got that one a bit wrong, but it still doesn't change the fact that the frauditor is about to go to jail. I do actually. They're supposed to be post office police. I, I, I have a post office here. police? I have, I have, they, no. Oh, they that's not a thing? Services. Okay. They have inspector services. So you, this is federal property, you have no jurisdiction? I, yes, I do. Okay. When, Where's your sergeant at? I can go anywhere when people ask me to come and deal with the problem, right. which is what I'm dealing with now. But you have no jurisdiction. I do. Okay. I do. You have business here? Yep. What was your business here? I'm filming. That's not business. That I just bought a stamp. The, the I have a receipt to prove it. Not... I just bought a stamp, too. Oh, you, what, you bought yep. a stamp. So why did you go in the back of the post office? To film. For what reason? Because it's a publicly accessible area. It's not. Says who? It says authorized only. It says authorized what? It says authorized vehicles only. Right. That does not mean unauthorized pedestrians. Well, then they should put a sign saying non authorized personnel, trust no trespassing. Again, the sign said authorized vehicles only. You're a defective human, not an authorized vehicle. That should be the proper sign. It should not. Asked to leave? A public then facility? You have to leave. A public facility. Yes. Okay. Yes. When's your sergeant gonna be here? I don't know. Okay. What's your name and badge number? Uh, Carranza 53795. See, is that not right? Is that not hard? Right no, here? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Do you have a hard time reading it? Nope. Lies! Lies! You are the prince of lies! So, is this because I have a camera? Just because I'm recording? Because that's a, what they told it's me. Because you were in a space where you weren't supposed to be. And what is that space labeled? You're getting into semantics, man. That's not semantics. That's specific. There's a reason why there's specific signs. That's why probably your facility on your door it says no honor authorized personnel, not vehicles. And the gates were wide open. If it was secured, it needs to be locked. Oh my God, you're such a fucking idiot. The gates were open so that the postal vehicles could go in and out of the postal parking lot. And just because the gate wasn't marked the way you wanted it to, doesn't mean that you're an authorized fucking vehicle. No, that's not what that means. Oh, okay. You put a, you put a fence up around every, every balcony that you've ever lived at or in every- There is, is a house. fence, yeah. If you don't want people to come into it, yeah, absolutely. You put a sign up? 
If you want. No, did you play, have you ever put a sign up? I don't answer questions. There you go. Now you're learning. Except you just answered like 50 questions from that officer before your inner dick flute reminded you of those four magical words. I don't answer questions. Oh, okay. What was your name, badge number? Sir? What was your name, badge number? I'm Douglas. Okay, thank you. You're not getting my ID. Well, you're going to be trespassed from here. From public facility for doing what crime? For trespassing. Where? I just told you that. And, uh, author, when you're, when you're that's not to physical. It's uh, open to the public. When you're asked to leave. Open to the public. It's I'm not, not doing anything wrong. It's not open to the public. Actually. They can only ask me to leave a public facility if I've committed a crime. Filming is not a crime. No, Being in a public true. area is not a crime. I'm not sure what internet site you're getting your laws from. That's okay. not true. Okay, we'll see. You can tell that the officers had to deal with these jackasses before. And the extremely reliable website that they get all of their legal information from is YouTube. Hi. Hey, Sergeant. What's up, Sergeant? Hello. Hey, your name and badge number, please? Yeah. What was your name? Herrera. Herrera? Yeah. Okay. So this seems to be the problem. You're here just freaking people out. Oh, he said I was trespassing. He stripped us in the back. He's in the restricted area in the back. And yeah. what does the back say? The back says for authorized vehicles only. Gates are wide open, both yeah. of them. You, you no one's standing the gate. You can't go back. It's a public access area. Okay. It's not a public access area. If it was public access, they wouldn't have signed up to say No, right so, you can't, so you can't pull your personal vehicle in there and park while you run in and do your mail stuff. That's where the employees will park. Does nothing say I'm not allowed to walk back there? Okay. Absolutely okay. nothing. Well, implied, it needs to have specifically a sign, right? No trespassing, unauthorized person, or yeah, authorized person only. Okay, let me try to explain it in a way that even a 33-year-old third grader could understand. Let's say you ordered a hamburger with mustard only, and they put mustard and pickles on your burger. Would you agree with them if they said the reason for putting pickles on your burger was because mustard only doesn't explicitly imply that pickles should be left off? Exactly. So that sign that reads authorized vehicles only does not mean authorized vehicles only and anyone else who wants to walk in. I mean, we really can't go back there either, even when we're, you know, unless well, you can. Unless you're not with your squad cars, but you can, right? You have kids. There's, it doesn't you matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I have three, and okay. it absolutely drives me nuts that I'm trying to have a conversation with my eight-year-old and they keep talking over me. Okay. And I feel like that's the same thing. Oh, we'll, we'll start over. I apologize. Continue. There's no conversation here. You're screaming. You're not screaming. You're talking over me. I'm trying to get my, tell you what's happening, okay. what's going on. And you're asking me a question and you talk over me. It absolutely drives me nuts. You're right. I apologize. Kids, and, you know, I've been doing this job for almost 20 years now. Okay. And it just drives me nuts when they talk over me. And I'm trying to have a civil conversation with you, okay? Bottom line is, we're not going to debate with you from here, okay? Bottom line is, you can't go back there, okay? And we're not going to debate. But shouldn't please there be, should, don't should debate. you? Please don't no, debate. I'm not debating. Would you agree you, that there should be specific signs? You, there is, since you can't. For only offer, off, should you do agree that. Us, see, here we go again. Okay. I feel, here I'm just, we go. I was just again. asking you a question. You can't go back there, bottom line is, okay? I think I can. And that's why they call this. Okay. You're masked up, you're in an area. Masked up during COVID? This there. building says mask required. Uh, okay, sorry, continue. Here I am, talking to my kid again. Okay. I find it funny that the sergeant relates talking to this bridge troll to talking to his eight-year-old child. Okay, you're not a kid, you're an adult. I expect them to learn the ways of having a conversation. She's got something to tell you. What was your name first? I don't want to hear any, what was it? Lynette. Okay. And I am trespassing you from our backlog. So you just solicited a trespass? There you go. I asked if she was able to. So you solicited a trespass? simple yes or no. Okay. Can you trespass someone? A statement of fact. So we're done here, basically. Okay? All right. Have a good day, guys. Okay. <laughs> you're, 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 you're making them. You're creeping them out. You're creeping people for out for what? Here, okay. For filming. You're in the. You're in the lot back Which... here, and now you're kind of just making this recording stuff, and you're all by all means you can. But okay. you're just making people uncomfortable. Well, she told me I wasn't all recording. In this recording day and age, either. you're making people uncomfortable. Well, in this day and age, why they call it's actually it. the safest it's ever been. Okay. I, again, I'm not going to debate. Okay. I have three kids. I have. Well, have a good day, officer. Okay. Okay, are you gonna leave? No. Okay. Ma'am, I haven't done to anything leave? wrong. I would like yeah, you to leave. You're, you're, you're... He's making the employees uncomfortable. Yeah. Here you go. Time to go. You're uncomfortable for what? For filming? Time to go. We're just asking you to leave. 
by and I we're being, request, we're being respectfully and, we're declining we're being, your request. Okay. So why do you why do you dig this hole that we don't want to do anything? We don't want to take you to jail over something dumb like this. We don't want you freaking people out. We are simply asking you, please, sir, leave. That's all we are asking right. you to do in a very polite, not a way. lawful, leave it not a lawful order. Uh, Karen, he's a police officer, so it is a lawful order. And one that if you disobey, will earn you a free reservation at the county's luxurious Iron Bars Hotel. For committing a crime. What crime have I committed? Then do what you guys have to do because I'm not leaving. I have committed no crime. I'm here trespass. filming. You, you committed a trespass. There's no trespass. You committed a crime by one back here when you were supposed to. You committed a crime by staying here. And That's for vehicles you. only. That sign is for vehicles only. You've done it twice now. Okay. So what, what are you trying to prove? What, what, what do I'm just doing prove? a First First Amendment protected activity. Okay. Yep. And you, you, you did your spiel and you got yes on video and all this stuff. We're, we're trying to be respectful to you and respect your rights and we're asking you to leave that's all we're asking you and to i am respectfully declining your request how do you know that you are still within your first amendment rights because i'm allowed to feel have you read their poster seven how have you read know? the post office poster seven i'm allowed to film here according okay. to the rules and regulations your, of the post office your legal knowledge is outstripping your common sense right? okay well then you guys do what you have to do i agree i think we've let this mental midget have enough opportunity to waste everybody else's time i mean I can understand where the police officers are coming from. They want to give him an opportunity to leave on his own. But he's not smart enough to do what's best for himself. Is this the part where you're supposed to film this and we're, we're supposed to tap you to the ground? I, like, no, I'm not going to make you guys do anything. Is that, that, that what you're trying I'm, to do on film? Is us trying to get up sex and all this? this is exactly if what that's what I want, then do. walk away. This What's exactly the problem? What do. I'm not doing anything this wrong. This is the part where the police get in and we get real physical with you. You film it. You throw it on YouTube after the exact the reaction you're trying to get from us. We're I can't you make leave, you, sir. and I'm respectfully, respectfully okay. declining your request. What do you live at? Not telling you. Okay. It's one of those, one of those people. Okay. Yep. Um, so you're gonna call your captain, lieutenant, city no. lawyer. Okay. So we'll, we'll probably end up doing it. Just let's arrest them. Okay. Finally. They arrested him for doing a dumb on postal property. And guess what? That wasn't the only dumb that he did that day. Because later that day, he returns to the same post office to confront the postal employees about his criminal trespass. Is it against your policy to take pictures on your phone? No. Right? I 100% guarantee it is. It's 100% against your policy to don't take pictures. Don't, 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 don't you and another employee did. See how yours says authorized personnel only, not authorized vehicles? Not one personnel sign. Go ahead and take pictures. First Amendment po protected activity, ma'am. You're a po there, there shouldn't be a problem exactly. See anywhere it says no personnel allowed, no trespassing? Why is it right retail when I got arrested on a public open to the public access? I wrote restricted. Oh, restricted? Looks like retail. Either way, it's not a restricted access point. It does not say authorized personnel, it says authorized vehicles. Newsflash, dickhead! You're not an authorized vehicle! Walk a shame. Walk a shame. Well, it's better to do a frauditor's version of a walk of shame than to do the police's version of the perpetrator walk. Now, if you thought returning to the post office the same day was dumb, 
Leave a comment below telling me how fucking stupid you gotta be to return to the post office the next day and have another confrontation with police officers. Because that's exactly what happens. Oh, this is the guy. Okay, I'm gonna talk to management every day and hang out with him. All right. Well, thank you for the order. Go ahead. Go ahead. How's it going, officers? Go ahead. We're filming too, just so you know. Oh, yeah. Cool. Why do you guys always say that? Anytime there's a camera. Oh, okay. That's why. Good to know. Wow. Thanks a lot, officer. Now this frauditor is going to tell everybody that he's an expert in forensic police video photography. So why are you guys here? I bet you could <laughs> guess. No, I couldn't. I have no I'm idea. Here. Sorry, what was that? Oh. Can you guys uh, name and badge numbers, please? Officer Cole. Badge number? 51038. Sir? Right here. right here, is that what you tell the judge? You tell the judge right here? To, we're not required to give you a badge number. I just did that out of courtesy. Oh, that's nice. Number. We don't have badge numbers. Okay. So, so you're, you're refusing to identify? Is that it? No, my name's right here. Right here. That's your name? What's your name, buddy? I'm not giving it. I'm not giving it? Is that what you're going to tell the judge your name is at your criminal trespass trial? Dalton what was your name, badge Dalton. number? Dalton. You're not going to identify either? Do you guys policy not to identify as police officers? Do they not look like police officers? Okay. Anybody can buy those. No, they can't. Yes, they can. You can buy all sorts of vests and gears and fake badges and all sorts of stuff. This guy is just one self-contradiction after another. If the police officers' uniforms and badges could be fake, then how would you know that they're real police officers even if they did identify themselves to you? Hey. Were you trespassed from here yesterday? No, I was uh, trespassed from the back lot specifically. I have it on video. Wrong again. That lady did say she wanted you trespassed from the lot, but you ended up getting trespassed from the entire postal facility. That occurred when the sergeant asked you to leave and you refused to do so. And now that you've returned, these officers have every right to re-arrest you for a second criminal trespass. Okay. And if you guys like to read this, Poster 7, the rules and regulations governing conduct on the post office grounds. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, and auditoriums. So pretty much anywhere I can film. Oh, no, no, no. In your first video, you quite clearly state that your recording is for personal use. So skip all the way down to the end of that section where it talks about other photography and how that needs to have the express permission of the postmaster or installation head. You don't have that permission, so get the fuck out. Are you you okay, well. Are you a reporter? Do you have press credentials? You don't need press credentials. I'm independent. Okay. This is management. I want you to leave or get arrested. Your call. I have a question for you. Have you read your poster seven? Do you do you want to do you want to stay or be arrested? Your call. Can I just ask a question? No, God. No, God, please, no, 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 no. This is a poster seven, says I'm allowed to film, okay, so I don't understand the problem. They, they said you've already been dealing with and intimidating some of their uh, employees. How? And customers. I haven't said anything to anybody. Either you leave now or you get arrested. I don't care. Your call. For what, though? What crime? Trespassing. For trespass two. Trespass two? Yep. For how is it a trespass, though? Because they asked you to leave? And you refused. That's how. Because I'm legally allowed Step to be here. Step outside and talk to me out there. I'm going to arrest you right now. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Have you read the poster seven, by the way? It says I'm allowed to move film. Move now. Now. Move. You don't need to contact me, dude. Well, we're not playing games. We're really busy today, okay? Well, then why are you guys dealing with filming? The same thing yesterday. It's allowed. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Were you arrested yesterday it for it? It says on the... You want to go to jail or not? Why are you yelling? You want to go to jail? I'm trying to have a conversation. What, are you trying to have a conversation with yourself? Because these officers have already had their feel of your bullshit. 
and having a conversation with someone who's missing several chromosomes doesn't seem to be on their bucket list. Put your hands right in the back. You go to jail? Go to jail. No, I'm trying to have they a get conversation. Your, they get out of here and leave the post office now. Do not come back. You've been trespassed the post office. I was not trespassed. Customer. Your first video is literally titled, Got Arrested, First Amendment Audit Fail. So if you didn't get arrested for trespassing, then please, enlighten us as to why you actually got arrested. I wasn't harassing, harassing customers. Staff. I wasn't harassing staff. I was okay. filming. That's why they want me out of here. See you later. Goodbye. Don't Real tough back. guys. Oh, I'll be back. I'm sure there'll be a group of people coming back too. Bring as many fraud editors as you'd like. I'm sure they got plenty of room for you and your imaginary friends. But now, for what, in my opinion, is the best part of the video, watching a fraud editor do an actual walk of shame. For what? You guys are you guys will figure it out. I already talked to the city attorney twice today. Fuck off. Fucking pigs. Piece of shit. Yeah. You guys are real fucking tough. Do you kiss your preacher with that mouth, Karen? Okay, so I think this is going to be where we end the video today. One day, this rookie will learn to be a true First Amendment frauditor, but until then, we'll just have to watch him grow one arrest at a time. Because all First Amendment frauditors are fucking idiots. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. If you found this video interesting or entertaining, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And a massive shout out to all of my patrons and channel members whose support helps me keep doing what I love to do. Calling out idiots on the internet. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.